looking forward to the next day. Like, even if I had a lot of stuff to do, it was still like, meh, it's just a nice challenge and just a, it kept me moving forward. Exercise did. So that's a good point. Maybe because I haven't been exercising as much that maybe that's why I'm tired. I don't know. So you like that feeling after exercise, the burst of additional energy that you would have? Yeah, I do. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Kind of kept me moving. It kept me going. Mm -hmm. Is there any other changes that you've noticed since this loss? Um, I would In addition say... to the sadness and the loss of energy... My work isn't as uh, fulfilling for me anymore. Like I don't, I don't get as excited about, I don't feel like I've accomplished much at work anymore like I used to. Do you feel it started kind of at the same time as the loss of the best friend? Probably about three months after that. Three or four months, I would say I started feeling that. Where work just isn't as meaningful anymore as it used to be. So you've always enjoyed your job up to about then? Yeah, I have. Did you yeah. have the same kind of passion? Was it a passion? Would you call it a passion? Or? Yeah, you could call it that. I think it was more like I felt like I accomplished something during the day. And now I feel like I don't accomplish anything as much as I used to. It felt fulfilling. At the end of the day, I was fulfilled. And now I feel like I'm not as fulfilled at work like I used to be. So how would you say you feel after work? Just would it be an emptiness feeling or would it just be a, a feeling of you haven't just accomplished anything? A little of both. And I think maybe because I used to work, my friend and I worked together, so she was always at work. Okay. So, I think maybe I miss having her there. So that changed, I think that changed my work environment for me. And I think I miss having her there with me. You've thought a lot about this, haven't you? You've had a lot of good thoughts about where it's been going since your mm -hmm. good friend has, has passed. Yeah. It's been affecting your work. It's been affecting your energy level. Mm -hmm. You have sadness. You have great words to, to place those those feelings. Mm -hmm. That's a huge step. And in in what this is called sometimes is a grief process. Mm -hmm. We are grieving the loss. Mm-hmm. When you lose something, it's it sometimes doesn't doesn't feel like you have it anymore. So when it's gone, that loss gives you sadness sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes people have a harder time, um, and it's a longer process. Um, but Is it normal that I go like sometimes I'll get like sad, but then I'll get angry. Like, I go back and forth sometimes. I think as long as you can keep trying to identify that you have feelings during this process, mm -hmm. that that's a huge goal in life, is to have mm -hmm. the knowledge of what you feel like. Mm -hmm. And then once you can put words to those feelings, mm -hmm. then it will help you understand what you're going through a little better. I don't really have anyone to talk to about it though. So that kind of makes it hard. Okay. So it, how does it feel to talk about it? It feels good. It feels like I got, I'm getting stuff out. Like I'm, um, just feels good to like let it out and let someone else hear it and kind of take it on. Feels like I'm like releasing it, kind of like when I exercise. Feels like I'm releasing something, like those bad thoughts or those sad emotions. Just feels like I'm just it's going out of me. 
So I like that. So I like having people to talk to about it. But people at work, I've tried to talk to people at work, and they just don't really want anything to do. Because they're, they're sad about it too, so they don't really want to talk about it because they miss her too. <clears throat> so it's kind of affected like so would you say environment. so would you say that right now talking about it makes you feel better yes definitely makes you feel not so heavy yes yes okay For sure definitely helps okay yeah do you think you want to keep talking about it in the near future do you want to try to keep talking about it yeah, I think, like, I think it's good that you um, were able to tell me about, like, the grief and what that is. Because I didn't know that's what I was experiencing. I just thought it was just, I was just mad. And then I was sad. And then I was, I didn't know that's, like, a process or anything. I just thought it was just how I would feel. Like, am I ever going to get over it? Am I always going to feel this way? That is an answer I don't have at this moment. But when you talk about it more, I think if if you keep talking about it, since that feels better for you, mm -hmm. that will help you. Okay. Um, if you would like, um, we can keep talking about it. Mm -hmm. And then we can get some more information and we can learn some more about the process mm -hmm. and then help you through it. Okay. Would you like to do that? Yeah. Like, even if there's, like, a group or something I could go to, do you think other people have gone through this stuff, too, that, like, that other people could help me out? Do you think other people have? Have you talked to other people in at work, or do you, did they say anything? Yeah, yeah. I think they would probably benefit from a group. It would be nice if we could all just kind of go to a group that would help us talk about it. I think we could find some groups and some resources to help you through this. Okay. And if you'd like to talk to other coworkers to do it also. Okay. That would, we could do that too. Okay. Would you like to do that? Yeah. yeah. So do you feel like you want to talk more about it in a group setting or would you like to do more, do you feel better personal setting where it's just I kind of want to do both. Okay. Yeah. I kind of want to do both. Okay. Um, yeah. So how do I get over this? How do I like get energy now? I just don't have any energy though. <clears throat> so what do you feel was gives you energy? Mm, eating good and exercising. Okay. So you're more than welcome to try that. Mm-hmm. Um, we can talk some more about those resources on some ideas that we can get together for that. Mm -hmm. And um, we can meet again mm -hmm. if you would like. Okay. Since we've gotten this far and you feel better when you, you do talk about it, mm -hmm. I think this is great for you. Mm -hmm. And then in another few weeks, we can have another one-on-one -on -one and okay. look for some resources for group for you. Okay. Does that sound good, John? Yeah. I think that'll okay. work. Yeah. Super. Um, do you know, uh, have you been feeling any other different feelings lately? Um. So we, I understand that we've done, you've felt sadness. Uh-huh. And a heavy weight. Uh-huh. A lack of energy. Uh-huh. Any other feelings that you can think of that you've had lately? Um, Since the loss? Did I say anger? Yes. Okay. Yes. I guess, yeah, just angry. <clears throat> Do you still have those? Do you still have those yeah, feelings? Yeah, it kind of just makes me question, like, God and stuff, like... Yes, you mentioned that you 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 don't you didn't think it was fair that yeah. God would take your friend. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that I get angry about that. Like I thought I don't know, I guess I just imagine it's just hard for me to accept that 
someone so nice had to die and um it was just such an un in unfortunate accident um because it was it was a drunk driver that killed her so i just feel like that was so unfair for her that she had to go through that so that's what i get angry about so that specific sentence yeah that that when you say it do you feel that's when you have the anger yeah, when I think about that guy hitting her and him being selfish and drinking enough that he would um, go hurt somebody else because of his drinking, that's what I think of. Like, why would why would why should that happen to someone like her? She was just a sweet girl. And how do you feel when you say those words out loud? That specific sentence. I just get angry. I I want to like hurt him. I want to make him suffer. Like I want justice for him, for her. Yeah, I just get angry. I guess I feel like there's not really anything I can do and that's what makes me so mad. Do you feel since her passing, all these emotions that you've been going through, do you feel they have increased or decreased? Do you see any differences in them at all? My anger has gotten worse after like about three months after she died. My anger got worse. And now it's kind of just been steadily going back and forth from anger to sadness. I think my anger's gotten worse, though. Like, I take it out on other people now, too. Like, I take it out on my boyfriend. How Can you explain a little bit on how you... What you mean by taking it out on your boyfriend? Like, I get mad at him for, like, <clears throat> those little stupid things that don't really have anything to do with him. It's because... And it's usually because I'm thinking about... Um, my friend dying in that car accident. Do you yell at him? Do you say hurtful things to him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, well, I'm just really <clears throat> short-tempered with him. And then I kind of just get over it. But I'm just really short-tempered. Can you explain a little bit more what short-tempered means? Like, I'll just blow up about simple things and then I'm over it. But I'll say, like, a mean thing to him just... I'll snap at him about something that that he probably shouldn't have, like, really wasn't his fault or something he didn't really mean to do or something like that. I'll just snap at him. What does that make you feel like after you do that? I feel guilty. It's not really his fault. I mean, he shouldn't have to be, like, the person that I take it out on. I mean, he's not the one that killed my friend. And he's been supportive. He's been helpful and offering me support so that's wonderful that you you've recognized that already just that sentence alone uh -huh. knowing that you take something out on another person when it's really not their fault right. is huge during an emotional process like this yeah that's a that's a great a great benefit on your end maybe he could come to some of these sessions with me Sure, if you would like him to. Okay. Right. It's all in what, what works the best for you. And as long as you can open up and talk about things and, and explain how you feel, it, it, it will, it's, that's what we're here for. Okay. And you have relayed that it makes you feel better. Mm-hmm. Good inside. Mm-hmm. To talk, just alone talk about these things. Mm-hmm. So we can keep working on each emotion if you'd like. Okay. We can start where the one that is the most <clears throat> prominent. Okay. And we can work on it from there. Would you like to do that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I want to work on my anger.